today we are going to examine the reproductive tract of male and female goat. Let's go! This is Vet Endo 413, K-Prime in Canine Reproductive Tracts. This non-pregnant specimen was examined externally. This is to identify the specific locations of the organs involved. Starting with the K-Prime vulva. The vulva consists of an anus, a labia, and a clitoris. A clitoris that serves as a sensory organ of a caprine. Other organs include the posterior vagina, anterior vagina, cervix, uterine body, a uterine horn, an oviduct, an ovary, a broad ligament, and the urinary bladder. We will now examine the specimen internally via incision. Let's identify its parts. We have here the external cervical os, the fornix, the cervical rings, internal cervical os, the caruncles, mesometrium, mesosalphinx, and the mesovarium. Here is our caprine ovary, consisting of follicles that serve as the site of oocyte production. The conduct of examination to oocyte is important for us to be able to be familiar with its structure. Under a microscope, let us examine the tissues collected. This pregnant specimen was examined to differentiate the organs from the non-pregnant specimen. The uterine body, oviduct, ovary, and the broad ligament are also prominent. Upon dissection, we observe the dura caruncles attached to the wall as well as cotyledon within. And this is the caprine embryo. The testis, a male reproductive organ which produces spermatozoa for reproduction. Upon this section, we have here the urinary bladder. The testis, vas deferens, the head and the tail of epididymis. Spermaticoid, prostate gland, and the parietal tunica vaginalis. Bulbus glandis, an erectile tissue responsible for locking the penis inside the vagina of the bitch during mating. And here is the gland's penis. It is the distal end part of the penis. Another layer of tunica is the visceral tunica vaginalis. is our tunica albuginea. Seminiferous tubules are long, coiled tubular structures responsible for spermatogenesis. 